Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we made our way farther up Hyrule. Of course, we were trying to get to Hebra, and we are way up in the sky right now. We made our way to Courage Island, is the current island we're on right now. And I think if we take a look back here on the surface, um, there's a couple of different missions we're trying to get to. None of them are logged right now. And um, we've been doing the Dragon's Tears, but I, I want to really try to get to Hebra, and it's super close over there. So the regional phenomena, trying to get to the northwest of Hebra, where we can run into Rito Village and stuff. So. Yeah, should be pretty good, I think. Sort of off that way, so we'll just keep working on that in today's episode. I think we'll be able to get there, we'll have to wait and see, but right now on Courage Island, it looks like we have, whoa, some kind of thing to go through. Oh, I gotta fall down. Um, I might wanna be quick with this, too. There we go, there we go. Got it? Oh, this is so cool. All right, um, I don't know if I wanna accelerate. I feel like that'd make it a lot harder to control, so we'll just keep up with this here. I might accelerate a little bit. There you go. Oh, this is awesome. And we'll just make our way down with this. I'm guessing, oh, wait, wait, ooh, dive. There you go. Maybe this will get us a Korok seed or something? It looks like there's a lot more on this island. Even like one of those capsule things. So there we go, we made it down, and... Whoa! Wait, what is that? That is not a Korok seed. It's a really, really big Korok seed. It unlocked a shrine, didn't it? Wow! I like that. What a fun way to unlock one. Ooh. So we'll have to hop into there right away. And that way we get a quick teleport to this area too, so. Fun way to start off today's episode, right? Let's get over there really quick. And oh, there's a little robot waiting for us here, including, oh, there's a fairy. Wait a minute. Let's take a picture of it, if I can. Fairy, got it. Okay, that's so cool. I'm hoping I can sneak up on you. Oh, I couldn't quite. No, wait, come back! Ah, darn. Try to be sneaky with it, but they fly too high up sometimes. Anyways, oh, there's another one over there. I do want to take my chance at getting one, if possible. So if we have to be nice and slow, then so be it. Almost there. Come on, come on. Don't mess with it too much. There it is, we got it, the fairy! Which, of course, restores five hearts of health. This fairy will fly from your pouch and heal you the moment you lose your last heart. It's easily mistaken for a firefly at first, but it glows in the daylight as well as night. Very cool. So, you're very useful to have some of those around. I think I have pictures of all these, but I should probably make extra sure. What about the, the stand bulb? I don't have a picture of the stand bulb, but now we do. So yeah, things are going pretty well with our uh, little compendium. We still have hundreds of things to log in it, but Getting a lot closer, there's a sky shroom. We haven't photographed most most of the things up in the sky, so we should probably go back to some older areas and get that figured out soon, but getting some extra stand bulbs is good. Uh, is there anything cool in here we can break open and get anything out of? So far, oh, not really. Well, let's go and talk to our little robot friend who's over here. Can I take a picture of them too? Doesn't look like it, but I'm sure that the enemies of them, we probably could. Greetings. Welcome. This is the site of a ceremony to test your courage. Courage is demonstrated by div diving headlong through the sky. No challengers have visited this island in a long time. I'm glad you've come. I witnessed your dive earlier. You seem to have come prepared. Now then, let us commence with the dive ceremony. Are you prepared? Dive ceremony? Could it be that you do not know of the dive ceremony? My apologies, allow me to explain. The dive ceremony is a trial that tests your courage. It is a rite by which deny youth come of age. The starting position is the Sky Island far above here. The challenger leaps from there. They must pass through all the rings in a set amount of time. I wish you luck in formally overcoming the trial. Those who succeed receive a special outfit to mark adulthood. Go on, show me your courage. I'll do it! Ah, I perhaps forgot to mention one thing. I require one Zonai charge as an offering. Offering? Our cu custom since long ago has been for participants in the ceremony to offer a Zenai charge to the island. No Zenai charges have been provided for many years. We are in short supply. Your cooperation would be appreciated. Go ahead. So we got one. I think we got plenty of them. Then follow me to the starting position. Your task is to pass through all of the rings in 35 seconds or less. That sounds awesome. We'll get a piece of gear for this apparently too, which would be amazing. So. Gladly gonna go for this one. So three, two, one, and go for it. So we just did this before and it opened up that shrine. So I guess if we do it this time, 
Ooh, we only have so much time here. So if we can, you know, find some opportunities to speed up like that, probably a good idea. And then I'm just gonna move over here. Ooh, we're really moving now. Well, let's make sure we're not, yeah, missing any. Got it. And then one last one in the water. Wait, I missed it. No! Ah, ha, ha, ha. You failed the pass through every ring. Please return to my position. Okay, we'll try that again. Whoops, got a little too excited for the record time. That's okay. I mean, if it gives me another chance, I regret to tell you that you did not pass through all the rings. This attempt is therefore disqualified. Will you attempt the ceremony again? I will require an offering of one Zonai charge. Sure, I'm willing to give it another go. And follow me to the starting position. All right, let's go for it. <laughs> Sorry about that one. We were close though, it was the last one I messed up on. Three, two, one, and go. So, we jump, and we fall pretty quick through this one. And I just gotta make extra sure. Got it, and then these few. Got it, and then this one, once again, I get a little bit scared, I'm not gonna make it, so. Now I'm feeling a lot more dead center with it, and I still only barely got it. Awesome, finished. But there's a little duck in the water too. So let's see, did we make it? Your time is 21.58. I have borne witness to your courage. I have here the mark of your maturity. You have earned this. The glide shirt. The cloth sewn to this shirt helps it catch air, increasing the wearer's ability to glide while they plummet from the sky. So skydive mobility up. Huh. You may be able to beat the current record of 20 seconds. Will you attempt the ceremony again? I will require an offering of one Zonai charge. So let's try to beat 20 seconds. Do we get anything extra out of that? Or is it just bragging rights? Okay, we'll try it one more time to see if we can get 20 seconds or less. To do that, we'll really have to make sure that we are diving a lot. Okay, so jump, jump, jump. A little unfortunate that it, you know. Okay, come on, come on. Uh, go. There we go, there we go. Got it. Oh, now we're diving really fast, but this is where we need to get it. And then right about here. Oh, 19.89. That sure was close. Oh, man. I didn't know if we were going to get it or not. Your time is 19.89. This is an astonishing new record. My records indicate that you are faster and braver than any previous challenger. I award you this to you in honor of your extraordinary record. You've earned it. We get a large Zonai charge. Very cool. Please tell me your name. I will register you as a record holder. Understood. Your name is Link. I have registered you as the record holder. Will you attempt the ceremony again? I will require an offering of one Zonai charge. I'll pass. I await your next attempt. All right, that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that. So I don't think there's too much more we can do on this side of the island, but obviously we could get a couple more of these, which with the sun line, I don't know if I've got a picture of that one, but uh, doesn't matter too much right now. I do want to um, put some of our stuff in here. Okay, let's sort this by type and see if I can't find it a little bit easier that time. Here it is, here it is. So I think holding three of them should be enough for me to get a good variety. I don't know if these will have anything new in them. That's why I really want to check it out. Cause maybe we found them all, maybe there's more to get. Ooh, nice, I think there's some new ones. Oh, did these count as like things I should be taking pictures of? Uh, wrong thing. They aren't, okay, good. Good to check. This is a time bomb, a Zonai device for a timed explosion. Its blast can activate other Zonai devices. Whoa, so it's sort of like the bomb from Breath of the Wild. We have a portable pot, fan, time bomb, and a balloon. It's a night device that rises when filled with hot air. The hotter the air, the quicker it rises. Okay, so over here we have our shrine. Let's go check this out. Can we just activate this one? This is the Tonhi Ton Ton Shrine? Something like that, the Hyrule Ridge Sky. Let's give this one a good attempt. So far, you know, the shrine's been a lot of fun. I'm sure this one will be more of the same. And this one was just super satisfying to discover. Just, you know, doing what we had to do for it, go through all the rings, skydiving. All right, so here we are. This is the combat training archery. Ooh, okay, I always love the combat training ones. And what do we gotta do here? Looks like we do have a bow and a couple of things. Is this new? Oh, oh wait, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I got brought back here. <laughs> oh no. 
So for this one, they're also ranged. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Draw your bow in midair to heighten your senses. Focus, target your enemy with an arrow, and release. Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. Okay, so attack with a bow. Equip a bow to attack enemies from afar and release, just in case we didn't know by now. But I do want to take a picture of you, so let's go ahead and, ah, hey, wait a minute. Training construct, there we go. <laughs> That's a good one to get, for sure, so. Gotta be careful, because they're gonna be trying to do the same thing. But I'm hitting you. It's not really doing much, I'm a little confused. Uh, maybe I should try one of these, a construct bow. Uh, maybe I should take a picture of it too if I haven't already. It looks like I have, so I'll just grab some of this. You know, why wasn't that working? We can of course use some of these and we can go slow motion. There we go, that one worked. I don't know how many times I'm supposed to do this for, but well done. All right, now what? Ooh, more? Uh-oh, heighten your senses again. Take aim and defeat the enemies. So I don't know why those shots before weren't really working so well, but we're gonna try again. Um, this time, use our brand new construct bow. See, that isn't, that's so weird. I guess it just wants me to fly with it, which is fine. Did they hit each other there? They might have. Gotcha and gotcha. It really is about how much stamina we have when it comes to flying around like that. Ow. Okay, let's go up again. Gotcha. And then over here, where'd you go? There you are. Got it. That should be all three of them defeated, and it is. So we get another construct bow out of that and a couple of other things too. You have proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. Oh, is there more? There might be. Oh no, there's a chest there for us. So it looks like we're all wrapped up. Very cool, so I'll take this construct bow. This is a Zonite shirt, sword, which I did not take a good picture of. Come on. There we go, Zonite sword. Okay, so we also got a couple of arrows over here. I guess that they were firing at us. I don't mind taking those back. I'm taking a picture of this, right? Because I can't really. Uh, and over here, more of the same. I don't really have too many of these, so. I mean, if I wanted to be really simple with it, I could even just combine a what is it, a Zonite sword with one? Could I combine it with a bow? Would that be a good idea? I prob probably not, um, but I'll do that. We, of course, increased our bow slots, I think last episode, but now we have twice the damage here, which is pretty cool. Um, just trying to see what else we got going on around here. There's another one, another bow. I'll take the bow and we'll leave the sword. And I think we're good with that. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of hidden chests. So I'll take the one reward we got here and we'll skedaddle. So that was a pretty fun one. I always like the uh, training ones. And we get a strong construct bow, a sturdy bow for a captain construct. Besides being fireproof, it's been strengthened to allow for more powerful shots. So we'll drop the Boko bow for this for sure. Um, but before we get too crazy with it, let's make sure we actually drop this to take a picture of it because who knows next time we'll run into one of these. Boom, got it. Very cool. Okay, so we'll grab this, we'll leave. We actually have quite a few of the orbs right now, so the next time we do run into a goddess statue, I wanna make the most of that. We could teleport back and get it figured out right now, but I'd rather save it for later. So yeah, here's another orb. I don't know how many we have in total at the moment, but hopefully soon we'll get to eight in total, so we can just, just get two upgrades. I love a little bit more health. I love a bit more stamina too, but over time, the more shrines we do, the stronger we'll get, and it'll make the game a whole lot easier. <laughs> so that's good. Let's see, how many do we get this time? Because there was like, what, over 100 shrines in Breath of the Wild, so I'm imagining more of the, the same here with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I guess we'll find out in a moment how many orbs we have. Our Light of Blessing, we have six of them, so two more shrines left to go before yet another upgrade. All right, we're back out here on Cor Courage Island. Interesting that like the whole thing counts as Courage Island. Oh, what's over there? Those are, I think we've gotten those before, but not too many of them. If I could just jump over 
I think I can make it. We have a lot of courage to make that jump, right? These are the Dazzle Fruit. We certainly don't have pictures of them though, so we'll take one right now, add it to our uh, compendium. Very nice. You can see the gloom coming out of that volcano in the distance. I wonder where that is. I guess it might be over here. Gotcha. But our goal is to continue this way. Yeah, so if we see any kind of, oh, hey, wait. I didn't even see this. Uh, do I have to go get that? I'm a little confused. Maybe? Uh, let's just try to chase after it, maybe. Oh, wait, got it. Whoa, that was cool. All right, yeah, you found me. I'm glad, I'm glad. That was crazy. Bye-bye. Uh, are we gliding? We are gliding. So, we're supposed to be heading that way, and honestly, if we keep going like this, what is that? Is this the place where I was stri striking lightning a bunch? Way back in Breath of the Wild? I think it is. Seems way different now. Little things like that we need to explore more of, but I don't wanna get super caught up in it right now. I think it'd probably be the best idea to go get this shrine over this way. Um, and by doing that, we're still heading in the correct direction. It's just so easy to uh, get a little sidetracked, right? And there is another um, depths area over this way too, so good to know about all that. Oh, you know what I haven't done? This. <laughs> okay, well that didn't work out so well. Does shield surf jump while holding a shield then press A while in midair? Why didn't that work? Let's try that again. It's not staying for very long. Um, oh, it's fused, so it won't work. That's silly. I don't really have too many things that aren't fused right now, so I guess I'll have to keep that in mind for later. I was gonna have fun with that too, so we should probably keep at least one shield unfused so that we can shield surf. Uh-oh, here are you. All right, let's deal with you. Come on. There we go. That took a little bit of work. I definitely want the Bokoblin arm though, because one thing I have, no, I have taken a picture of it, but it's super worth it. It's very damaging, so I probably don't need three Traveler's Claymores if I'm not gonna be using them all. Uh, so I'll take this one. Oh, I scared a bug away. And I can fuse it. I might wanna wait around because if we could fuse it with another one, that's always good. Anything under this rock? I guess not. We're almost at this shrine. I do sort of wanna see if there's anything up here. It doesn't seem like it. All right, yeah, let's go check out yet another shrine in today's episode. This is the Runikit Shrine. All right, let's go for it. The more we can get of these, the better, because it means we can return to areas like this so much more easily in the future. It looks like somebody's having a campfire over to the left in the distance. Maybe we'll check that out later. All right, here we are. Built to carry the Runikit Shrine. And this is looking like quite the contraption. Whoa, this one really reminds me of some of the Breath of the Wild ones, because I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to get that bald roll all the way down across all this different stuff. That's gonna be interesting. So I guess to get started, hmm. Yeah, we'll just climb up for now. Gonna have to glide across to here. Also looking around for any kind of potential treasure chest, but we can search for that later. Just climb up this ladder for now and see what we can do to get this ball moving. I mean, it looks pretty simple. It looks like I could just pick it up. But before we do, I wanna get a good lay of the land from up here. I'm not really seeing too much above this, so I think we're at the highest point. See, if we can roll it down that way, roll it to that platform, and then down that, but that's just one single railing, so that's where it could get tough. Okay, let's get a uh, Ultra Hand out, pick this up, get it over here, and see if it goes. <laughs> Weird that it doesn't roll, it glides, huh. Wasn't expecting that. Is there anything up there? I should probably use Ascend to try to find out. Okay, maybe if I lose the ball, it'll pop up there, but I can't really use it like that. Oh. Okay, what's the deal with this one? I think that the issue, if I had to guess, is that these railings are too wide apart, the ball would just fall right through. But I think that we're onto something with noticing that the ball doesn't really roll through it, it glides down. I don't know if these railings are supposed to be like slick, but if that's the case, couldn't we just attach it like this? Would this make it wide enough though? I don't think it would. So you know what? 
Maybe we should do this and then get those other two. That might be a bit better. It's gonna do this for now. And then do that same thing on the other side. Wait, got it. We will reset this. Yep, just like that. And get it right about here. And then do the same thing for this one. Turn it like this. I love all the puzzle solving in these games though. It's just so satisfying to actually figure it all out. I'm going to pick this up, try to put it like this. And it does move. It's not the most stable, but it's getting there. Ah, oh, that's awesome. So there we go, we were able to figure that part out. Now we might not be quite done, but it, as you can see over here, whoa. Okay. So I guess, I guess it wants me to roll the ball over here, but why would I do it that way? This arbor is clanking around. It's bothering me, so I'm gonna change it to that. I feel like there's a smarter way to do this. Um, one thing, are these attached? They are attached. What if I were to just, I gotta reset this, there you go. Couldn't I just attach them and just make a ramp upwards? I feel like that'd be way easier. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. We'll find out here in a moment. Here. Gotta do that, much better. Attach it there. And then let's back up with this. I feel this could be way easier than trying to balance some kind of contraption onto there. And that's where it's just, it's gonna be really interesting as we get more comfortable with this stuff because Breath of the Wild really made me happy with some of that kind of things because there were so many different solutions to puzzles and there's always a way to like get a unique solution. And I think we can do that even more with this game. So is that gonna be far enough? No, yeah, that will be. If I were just to lower it like this, it's fine. I don't know what's going on with the railings, but I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna do it this way. So there we go. That is gonna be a construct bow, a bow used by Cap uh, Captain Construct. So we will drop, actually, I don't know if we'll drop anything for it. I don't know if it'll count if uh, as us getting the chest if we don't. So I'll do that, but I'd like to keep the Traveler's bow. Just for a little bit of variety in that way. Um, I guess it's fun. We'll probably run into more anyways. So what are we doing here? This one is the tricky part because as you can see, it's not gonna be so simple as it was here. What I'm thinking we could do is we need to make more of a carriage, right? So if we grab some of this stuff, I'm gonna have to detach it all. But I think we could do something really neat here. And I might be overcomplicating the potential solution. But you know what, I, I tend to do that. Here, hold on, there we go. I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Do something like this. Put it right over like that. And then we might wanna make it a little bit taller. Hmm. Yeah, okay, let, let's see. If I get this here, attach it like this. That's pretty good. And then I will once again reset this if I can. And basically I just want it to hook on. I don't want it to be up there. I want it to be yeah, right down there. Or to sort of get the exact positioning I want. I should probably do this instead then. I think that'll fit. Perfect. Okay, so now if I were to get I wonder if I should, hmm. We'll see how this works. If I put one here, if I bring it a little closer, I think this would just hook on. I mean, it might not be the, the most, you know, super solid solution, but if I could just do that and then put these sort of under it. Okay, my only problem with that, Let's sort of make it a little bit more stable. Drop that one. Pick this up a little bit. And get it up like this. I'm trying to get it equal with the other one, which is not working at all. Sometimes it can be hard to be specific because it tries to lock on the certain things. I just wanted to DF, just like that. It won't work for this one. Come on. Go. Okay, even if we had to put it out a little bit like this, 
I guess it's not too big of a deal. I think they're at the same height at the least. I don't know why it's giving me such an issue. See, I don't know if that's gonna work as well anymore. Yeah, I don't know. It, the controls aren't always the best with it, but we'll try this. We'll see if it goes all the way through. I really hope it does, because we'll have to rebuild all this. If not, it's working. <laughs> Maybe not as smooth as I was hoping, but look at it go. There we go, awesome. So if I could just detach that, bring it over a little bit, and then push it out there, we'll have our solution. Yeah, things don't really roll around as they used to. I mean, obviously if I were to put it on a thing like this, it'll roll around, but it's not supposed to be like the stasis of Breath of the Wild where we hit it and we can smack it super far and we're trying to aim it. With this one, it's a lot more about constructing than it is physics in that way. I mean, both are important, of course, but I think you get what I mean. Anyways, there's our second try done for today's episode, and that one was a lot of fun. Each concept is a little bit different, but builds on the last one in a lot of ways, so that's always cool. So this will be yet another orb for us, and then we'll be back out into the main world, exploring some more. Okay, here we are, and now it's daytime. Whoa, okay, I thought that was falling for a second. That's the waterfall from the island we have here. I thought something was plummeting down to Earth. That would have been cool. Either way, are we still facing the right direction? Off this way? Yeah, we are, okay, so that's good. We're gonna continue towards our track. I don't know if I can mark this on my, my map at all, but this is another depths area. I'm sure we could work with Robbie with some of these. And that looks like a pink heron over there. An animal I've been needing to take a picture of, so. If we can. No, we've got a picture of the pink heron. Huh, I guess we've done both pink and blue which is what is over there, right? Sort of looks like it, hard to tell, yep. All right then. See, while we could go down there, right now, Discovery, this is the Hyrule Ridge Chasm. Don't wanna mess with it too much right now, but good to know it's there. And there's the big statue from, what's it called? You know what I mean, <laughs> whatever it is. I don't know if we've really taken the best path to get there, because I am sort of curious about like, you know, the paths around here. Like we have Kalami Bridge. I wonder if I should just, you know, cut across to here. Cause I would have really liked to find like a main path to go through, because usually where the more interesting things are. So it does make me think like maybe we should go back and hook around here. Maybe I'll do that later on. If we get to uh everything sooner than I expected. Cause also, on top of that, I don't know if we can really make a way across that gap too easily. Like where are we right now? This giant ridge, is that the bridge? <laughs> Not much of one. Um, good to keep in mind, I guess. Oh, there's a little bug. Can I take a picture of those? Hold on, I get distracted by everything all the time in this game and they're gone. Totally disappeared. Oh, here's another one. That didn't count. You gotta be so slow with it. That should have caught, right? Cold darner. Maybe I can grab it. It's like way over my head. They always do that. They always fly like super overhead. Right here, this is our chance. No? There we go, cold darner. This dragonfly prefers the cooled shade of trees to the warmth of the sun. Its wings disperse heat from its body, which can be cooked into a heat resistant elixir. That might be useful later on. But for now, I mean, we certainly could try to just go down there and then climb back up, but I feel like that'd be a lot less useful and probably take us way longer than if we just traveled here. So you know what, might go over here, we'll grab a horse too, and we'll just follow that main path. So it is still good that we did what we did, because I went out that way originally, of course, to get that tower, which cleared up the map to even show me that there was a path to follow here. So I think in general, we're making the right moves. It just, it feels like we're taking a step backwards, right? But we're gonna go and grab a horse. We'll go and ride with Sky, just like we did last game. Okay, so take a horse, and we'll get Sky. Because we have a maximum bond with Sky, so that'll be really useful. Ah. Thanks for waiting. Ah. Since you're here, would you like to equip your horse with a towing harness? Sure. Oh. Understood. Give me just a moment. So this is one of the new things we got. Ah. Harness attached. Whoa. If you attach a harness to a stable wagon, you can transport bulky materials. Ah. Please ask whenever you feel like changing your horse's gear. Well, that's all I can do for you. Thanks for using the stable, pal. Speaking of which, do you wanna know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Interesting, so yeah, we know about the whistling, but your horse is a magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Come back again anytime. 
I don't know if we really need that then. I feel like this is gonna be dragging behind Sky. Can we get them to remove it? Uh -huh. Welcome Link, do you wanna register a horse or take one? How can I help? Customize horse. I see you got a towing harness attached. Yeah, let's remove the harness for now. But really cool, we could attach it to like a wagon like you see back there. I don't really need to do that at the moment, but if we ever need to bring something super far, I guess we could do that, which is really cool when you think about it. But right now, don't need to worry about it. We'll just ride with Sky. Where did Sky go? Oh, there you are. Hi, Sky. <laughs> All right, let's get going. So we need to head this way, correct? No, I need to go the other way around and then take a left. All right, well, I'm excited to go on our adventure here. It's gonna be fantastic. So we could sort of cut across if we wanted to, but I think I'll just, yeah, because that was the area I decided to pass up on, but it really is the way we need to go, so. It should be a lot of fun. It is nice to be able to ride throughout the world on horseback again. Oh, and there's some more bugs and stuff, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Yeah. Just gonna keep going this way. But it feels like we're definitely sort of getting a flow of the game a lot faster than we did Breath of the Wild, and that makes sense because, you know, this game really is like a direct sequel to it in that way. Well, let's grab some. Oh, I thought I could. Oh no, sorry, I didn't mean to send you into a wall. Just wanted to grab these spicy peppers because I'm sure I'll need them sooner or later. So I can't really pick things up. Oh no, when I'm on sky. <laughs> Gotta keep that in mind. And anything else down here? So far it seems, whoa. Pretty birds or bugs or whatever those were flying away. Oh, there's one of the wizards. Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, let's be careful here. I haven't seen one of these wizards so far in the game, but they were all over the place in Breath of the Wild and really hard to beat. So if we could be sneaky about this, hit them with an arrow or something, and there's somebody coming up, they might wanna be careful. Here, I'm gonna jump off you real quick, buddy. And we'll see what we can do. Maybe I should chat with you first. Are you uh, familiar to this area? I can't see them. Yeah. Hey, busy day? At least with all the tall trees around here, you don't have to worry about getting lost. Uh, I don't see any tall trees. I mean, these trees are fine, but not super tall. Oh. When I left on my journey, I used to use the Skyview Tower as a landmark to, to keep track of my direction. But down in this valley, I can't see it, so I'm getting all mixed up. If only I could scale the cliffs here, I'd be able to see the Skyview Tower and figure out which way to go. Luckily, we have a map, so <laughs> is there any way I can point you in the right direction? I guess not. Well, nice seeing you. Can we take a picture of the stuff that you have on your back? We can, like you have the fisherman's shield. That's so funny that you could do that. It makes sense, but very weird. And then what weapon do you have there? Traveler sword, okay. Now you, the electric whiz robe, very scary. They just sort of walk around in the sky, but if we're really careful with it, what we could do is just, Glide over, and then, ooh, you're in trouble. Gotcha. But they take a lot of damage, so we do need to be careful, things like that. But I think for right now, we can start with something like, ooh, the Hynax Hammer. If I can run up, I'm sort of out of stamina for the moment. I gotta be careful. Ah, in the water, come on, I missed you. Really? Okay, get out of the water, get out of the water. We do not wanna mess with the electric kind of enemy in the water, that is for sure. Come on, come on. Oh, I almost got gotcha. you. And then what if I hit you with something like flaming? I feel like if we could set you on fire, that'd probably be a good idea, right? So, or maybe I could freeze you even with the white choo-choo jelly. No, my stuff! Oh, that's right. Hold on, what is this? Yellow choo-choo jelly. Because I got hit with electricity while I had the choo-choo jelly. Whoa, weird. A jiggly substance that came from an electric choo-choo, except it didn't. Electricity pulses through its gelatinous mass. If struck, it will explode in a burst of electric current. Huh. So as you can see, we need to be really careful of electric moves, because that kind of thing can happen. But I gotta be really careful, because I am almost out of health here. I barely even noticed. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and eat. Yeah, let's get, get some speed up too, why not? I definitely need to make some more food soon. We're hitting you pretty good, but... I would like to hit you with something that'll set you on fire, is my thing, but just didn't get the chance to there. Okay, let's try something. Alice here, come on. We got a fire fruit. You're in trouble now. So now you're toasting up. But will they stay on fire as they jump over here? Okay, here you are. Ready? Oh, come on. They just punched me that time. That wasn't even an electrical attack. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I'm running over, running over. Oh, that got you good. Awesome. And with it, we get ourselves right over here. Not the Zonite sword. Oh. 
Oh, that's so weird. So they don't have the, what do they call it in this game? They had like the rods last game, but this time it's just a topaz rod, a Zonite sword made of Zonite. It resonates with attached Zonite devices to slightly increase its attack power. See, it's combined with a topaz to make an electrical thing. That's really cool, but I sort of miss the original weapons at times. But I guess, you know, it's a give and take. What do we have over here? Alien Shroom, and a bunch of these peppers. It really did want me to uh, do some fire shots or something like that, which we did a few of them, and it certainly helped. But we'll get back up there and start walking with Sky again in just a moment. I just wanna get all these peppers wherever I can. Yeah, this is really cool. Whoa, look at it go. So we did that by combining a topaz with a sword like this. Good to keep in mind. A lot of you are telling me I could do the same thing with a ruby. My only hesitation, Hi, come on over, Sky. My only hesitation with that is that they're sort of hard to come by. I would rather just save that stuff and use other materials. Because like, we only have gotten four rubies so far and they sell for a lot. So if I, all I can do is use them for fire related things, I might just want to sell them instead. What is over here? This kind of grass looks a little bit different. Okay, doesn't seem like it's anything now. We're almost out of this sort of whatever it was, this ravine or whatever. And at this path, we're gonna wanna take a right, so that we're making our way around Hyrule Ridge. But it definitely is a lot faster with a horse than without. And I guess this is where we could make a little wagon or something if we did want to, you know, have Sky pull it. But what, what would I really pull with it right now is the big question. Oh, who's over here? Oh, somebody's fighting somebody. Let's help out. If I can. Oh, I need to get a new bow. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm here to help. Oh, okay. That actually worked out way better than I thought. Hi. Ah. This is water. Well, guess that's over. Honestly, I've been attacked by bees that were scarier. Ah. Here, this is one of my favorite foods. Would you take some as thanks for helping me? Oh, get a sneaky veggie porridge. Grants a low level stealth boost. Porridge made of easy to digest vegetables, fresh milk, and Hylian rice. An uplifting dish. Hi. I, water, am wandering all throughout Hyrule collecting bugs. Are you perhaps also a fan of insects? Ooh. Honestly, how could you not be from their beautiful wings paired to their tough exoskeletons? What perfect creatures. Oh, I've got it. As thanks for your help, let me gift you my knowledge of all things insecta. That's a science name for bugs. <laughs> You're traveling around Hyrule too, so such wisdom will help you find all sorts of bugs on your journey. Okay, let's start, to, we'll start with the basics. Uh... I'm sure you know that Hyrule has warm regions and cold regions, right? Well, just like most folks, our different buggy friends prefer different climates depending on their needs. So warm regions like Elden are often home to summer winged butterflies and warm darners. Meanwhile, cold darners and winter winged butterflies prefer regions like Hebra. <laughs> so you see, if you know what kind of bugs live where you're heading, it makes the journey that much more fun. <laughs> and that's it for Dr. Water's Inside Crash Course. I hope we meet again somewhere soon. Hi. Okay, is there anything else we can hear or? No, okay. Well, it was nice meeting you. I'll definitely keep all that in mind and a Boko shield. Do we have a picture of this one? We do. Um, so I'll leave you to it. We're gonna hop back on our horse and continue on our adventure, but it's always good to know more about bugs. Seeing how the end of the world is full of them. Okay. So we're heading right back out here. I don't see anything else in the distance to you know grab my attention like that, but if we do see anything, I don't mind stopping. But it is just a lot more effective to uh, run around on the horse than it would be just to walk around. Cover a lot more ground this way, but got more Bokoblins up ahead. I might just want to do something like this and then, oh, here we go. This is always fun. If I can line up the shot, that was nice. Gonna switch over to the, actually let's do the Zonite Sword Sword. <laughs> That's such a funny way to put it. And then you, gotcha. Pretty easy. We get some quick monster parts out of this. I don't need this, I don't think. The, the rock hammer with the, the thick stick, which I don't have a picture of, so I'll take a quick picture of it. The next time we run into an actual cooking pod, I should probably make some food. But I will use our ultra hand. Oh, we got a winter wing over there. Butterfly, I think it's flying away though. Come on, there we go. Some of these are tricky and they don't break straight away. Like that one. 
There it is. And we'll get a lot more arrows out of it. All right, Sky, let's get back to it. Run into these giant like rock mushroom things too. Gotta run a little bit more than that. There you go. See, can I pick these up as I'm going by? I can't. Sort of a shame. I love the music though when we're riding around on the horse. Very relaxing. We still have a while to go though if we wanna get closer. So I think it's just good to keep working on it. But I find in this game, especially the previous game, if we follow the main path, we often run into more interesting things. And you know, usually things that are important to like know. Like we can run into that bug person, we ran into you too. So yeah, definitely worth it. Oh no, <laughs> look out. So let's try to help you out a little bit here. Oh, it's you, thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too, but I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. So I will set you up with some things here. We have a lot of options. I think we'll just uh, set up something basic if possible. Uh, like this. Get this one right on the corner. That's not really where I wanted it, but it's okay. Uh, and then get this one here. I just wanna make it nice and sturdy. Make sure it doesn't fall over. And then we'll maybe do something like this for the back side of it so it doesn't like really fall over. And then lastly, we'll get a bigger one like this over on this side of it, like that. Nice, so now I think, excuse me, Sky, sorry. It should catch it pretty easily. All right, let it go. Try letting go. I don't know if this will work out super well. Ah, oh, not quite, okay. Maybe if I do it the other way around. I thought it would just hold it up a bit better, but sorry about that one. I don't know if the other way around would be all that better. But you know what I could do also? It's always, it's a little too tall for what I'm trying to do. So maybe this isn't a good idea, but I guess I could try this. That should work in theory. I mean, it might fall over the other way. So one last thing I'll do is it just attached it there. There we go, that thing is not going anywhere. That thing is not budging. Oh. <laughs> okay, hit punch, hit punch. That's all right. <laughs> I'm not quite the builder, okay? Uh, but I learned from my mistakes and we'll try again. Oh, I got knocked over. Okay, hold on. I just want to, how was it before? Oh, now I don't remember. It was sort of like this, but not really. Oh, now it's a whole mess. Oh, it was like this. All right, we got him sort of trapped, but this has to work, right? Will it be too heavy is my concern? Uh, can I even talk to you now? Uh, I don't know if I can. Is that really gonna be an issue? Okay, we'll, we'll bring it a little bit farther back and see if I can talk to you now. That'd be so weird that I can't talk to you just because, but it's really not letting me. Here, try that. Can I talk to you now? It will not let me talk to him. Just because he's surrounded by it? That's so weird. And uh oh, we have a blood moon? We have a blood moon going on, I gotta build faster. Why can't I talk to it anymore? Is it because of the blood moon or is it just the game is being unfair? I think it might be, yeah, I guess just because of that. Weird, right? Okay, so one other way I could do this then, before this blood moon rolls in. I'm a little bit worried it's going to be a little too late, but come on, I have a little bit more time now. All right, here we go again. The blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. We're in trouble. And I don't know if they get stronger the more times they come back or not. I sure hope not. Anyways, we're back to this, so I don't mind too much. Let's see. Can you drop it from here, please? Is it really just gonna make it so I can't talk to him when there's too much stuff near him? Oh no, I can, I can talk to him from here. Uh, Trial and gap. Mm -hmm. This one's giving me so much of an issue. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just gonna tilt over. I, I just, I'm struggling with this one, but I think I can maybe make it a bit better. I've said that like three <laughs> times now and I'm still struggling with it. This one has gotta work. It's working, it's working. 
Don't tell me that's unforgivable. <laughs> He's standing. There we go. Much better, right? Okay, so. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Oh. All right, so it's nice and fastened now. And hopefully we get a good ah. reward for this one. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. So we get 20 more rupees. Good that we're you know earning up a collection of them. So we get some food, energizing mushroom rice balls. This is new. Instantly refills some of your stamina wheel. The aroma of the mushrooms tickles your nose as you peel back the lengthy wrapping. Ah, uh, uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. Special gift from me to you. The bomb flower. Cool. Ah. Uh. And with that, I'm off. All right, so we've helped him yet again. I think that was like the third or fourth time now. So let's call Sky back over and continue on our little path over here. Uh, hi. And we'll go to the right here. So I don't see too much more to do besides continue down this path. I think that's the shrine we did. That is not the shrine we did before. So let's, uh, oh, I can't mark it on my map here, but whoa, we got a flying fiend over there. What can I do? Watch it, okay. What's up? Yeah. Lendo. Hey, you look preoccupied, so I won't keep you long. It's just, I saw a sunken treasure in a pond on the hill near Ludfo's bog. Mm. Seems a shame to leave perfectly good treasure chests down there. I wonder if there's a way to lift them out. Huh. I don't know where, this is the left for this box. So I guess there might be some treasure chests in like the, the mud. I wanna try to get to this monster, at least take a picture of them. I mean, I think I might have in the depths. I don't know if that counts as the same monster though. So let's just take a quick chance at it. And Aracuda, okay, so I didn't take a picture of it before. Awesome. All right, you wanna go? Oh, a one hit takedown was not what I was expecting, but I'll gladly I'll take it for sure. Uh, whoa, hey, whoa, they scared me. I did not know they were here. Ow. Okay, you guys aren't being very nice. If I could just, uh, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay. Put the bow away and get out something a little bit more. I don't think I want the electric rod right now, but I could do the Lysel Reaper. Okay, I wanted to focus on the other one. Gotcha. And you get on my last nerve here. Got it. So. And grab a lot of this. It's nothing too crazy, of course. Yeah, I was gonna pick up all this stuff and then they started smacking me around, but I don't have a picture of the Aracuda eyeball. I don't think I got it there. Come on. <laughs> I hate when it does that. When I, I'm trying to take a picture and the moment before I press the button, it disappears. But there we go. Got it this time. Don't think any of this other stuff counts. So, got all of that. Got a couple of barrels up here, which is interesting. And what is this? It's like a giant golden urn kind of deal. I don't really see where this would go though. Hmm. Let's maybe see from a higher vantage point. And also, mark that. I really don't see much when it comes to it. Uh, Always something we can save for later. What I could do is while I'm right here on the map, I can mark it as a point of interest with something like, I wish there was a question mark one, I thought that'd be useful. I'm just gonna put a, hmm. I'll put this because I'm pretty sure it'll lead to a treasure of some sort. That's gotta be something. That we like put in a, to a socket or something similar, who knows. Okay, let's hop right back on the sky. And we'll continue down our path. Yeah, having smaller things like that on the map is always super useful. I got some keys over here that I, I'd rather not deal with if I don't have to. There's some more of the Yerakudo up there. I guess, you know, this shrine is actually a pretty direct path where we're going. And there's another uh, stable here. That's good. I guess we should get to that too. Let's try the shrine first because it's always just good to have those sort of dotted around. All right, keep it going. Almost there, this will be our third run of the day too, so being pretty productive with these. Almost there, you got it, you got it. Pretty steep hill, I know. Is there anything cool happening around here? Seems like a really open plane. I don't think that's a Croc seed, but here. We got the, 
Makuruka Shrine here in Hyrule Ridge. Let's give it a try. Third one of today. Ooh, another combat training in archery. We already had one before, but now we get another one. So getting super well versed in archery today, huh? Let's see what this one has to say. Because before we had to use the wind to sort of rise up and do the slow motion shots, but this time, oh no. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Steady your aim and fire at the enemy's head. That's always the goal, isn't it? Your other attacks are ineffective here. Ready yourself. So only headshots will count. Yep, we know the idea. Got it. That was pretty good. Well done. Is that it? Okay, here come his friends. Do not fear the approaching enemies. Fire true, strike their heads. And we've seen that quite a lot throughout the game. If you get a headshot, it not only does a lot of damage, but it'll knock out the po foe for a moment so that we can have an opening to attack. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, that felt good. Get ourselves another construct bow. I don't really need too much of this other stuff, but you've proven your mastery. Now proceed to the innermost chamber. And that's where we'll get another treasure chest, I'm sure of it. Right over there. All right. But of course, if we can get some extra arrows, it's always good to try to leave these places with more arrows than we came in with. It seems like we'll be able to do that. Got a little bit more over here, so when I charge. And let's see this thing. Ta-da, we get another strong construct, but these are really nice. They do a lot more damage than our normal construct though. So if, even if I just drop one for it, I think that's well worth it. So yeah, sort of two of those done in one episode, in a way. Getting a lot more versed with our archery skills, which is good, because it's what I primarily use anyways. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Should be giving me an orb, right? So this is the same as it always is. So we'll head over to the uh, the horse stable now. All right, well, we're back out here. Glad that we could do all that. I think Sky's with us. I wonder, actually, oh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have done this. I don't know if Sky will follow us if I call them over now. So, oh wait, there's a croc thing over here. Let me try this at the least. Oh, I got it, I got it, okay. Ooh, so this is a little flower, but where will it pop up next? Ooh, over here, gotta really listen for it. Oh, on top of the Tabantha Bridge Stable. No, wait, my glider did not work there. That was weird. I wonder if I can use this to get up from somewhere. Oh, oh, right here. I hope I'm not out of time. Come on, swim faster, Link. Yep, it's still up here. Go, 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 get up quick. And now it's behind us. Now it's on the very tip of the nose. And there we go, we got ourselves another Korok seed. Okay, so we're up to 14 of them now. We fly all the way down this way. Whoa, what's going on over here? So this seems like an interesting little spot, right? Hey guys, definitely need a picture of you. The white goat, so cute. Really big horns too. The special goat feed. I thought he was like cowering. <laughs> no, I guess he's feeding them. Mm. I know, I know. The prize white goats at the Bantha Bridge Stable are the cutest things they've ever seen, right? Right? I'm sure it'll come as no surprise that I'm quite particular about their feed. I wanna make sure they stay healthy. Not too long ago, I got my hands on a special recipe. I'll be able to show my culinary skills to my beloved goats any day now. Hmm, well. Hopefully we get to see that. And ooh, what's going on over here? We got a, a Rito, which we haven't run into too many of the Rito people. This is so generous. All right then, I'll take them. Oh, do you need to speak with Banji? Apologies, we were caught up in our conversation. I'm from Rito Village to the Northwest. Times are tough where I'm from. Merchants aren't able to reach my village because of the blizzard. We're fortunate the kind folks from the stable are sharing their supplies with us. <laughs> it's thanks to them that the children still have full bellies. Oh. Don't mention it, really. The Rito have been good neighbors to us. We're just returning the favor. You let me know if there's anything else you need, all right? I can arrange to have it sent there, sent here, and then pack it up for you to carry home. Oh. Words cannot express my gratitude. 
Can I help in any way as well, or no? Hmm. There's no telling when the harsh weather at Rito Village will let up. The blizzard is still raging west of the Bantha Great Bridge. But thanks to your generosity, we can endure for the time being. <sighs> it's the least we can do, since traveling merchants can't reach your village. You need supplies, and we can afford to share. Simple as that. Please take as much as you need. I don't want any Rito children going without food. <sighs> Words cannot express my gratitude. So that's really nice. I definitely want to help out the Rito as well. It seems like they really need it. And I think one way to prepare for that is taking a picture of a pot lid. But more than that, we need to uh, definitely make some warm food. If it's gonna be a crazy blizzard and stuff like that, I wanna make sure we're well prepared yeah. for it. Whoa, fate brought us together again. Ooh, do beetles eyes deceive him or is that a bladed rhino beetle? I have such weakness for bladed rhino beetles. Will you give it to me, please? I'll make it worth your while. How about a mighty meat and rice bowl in exchange? It's a deal. So we get ourselves a brand new t recipe here, mighty meat and rice bowl. Grants a low level attack power boost. This dish of rice and lightly seared meat is a mainstay all throughout Hyrule. Ooh, thank you. I know you looked like a stand up fellow. Now excuse me while I spend the day spoiling this darling beetle. So, well then, can I attempt you to buy? Let's see what you have. Um, I don't know if we've gotten the winter wing just yet. It doesn't seem like it, so we can buy this one. The powdery scales of this butterfly's wings cool the air near it. Watching it flutter around snowflakes is a thing of beauty. Cook it with monster parts for a heat resistant elixir. So we'll go ahead and buy this one for 10 rupees. Um, all right. You must know about their special scales. The scales coating their wings are wintry fresh. They put the burr in brilliant. <laughs> Glad I could help. And we also have the thunder wing, which we don't have any of. This rare butterfly only shows itself when it rains. The organs in its body produce an insulating compound. When made into an elixir, it offers electrical resistance. So we'll just buy one of each of these so we can technically have them found. Yay. And then, wow. is there anything else here? No, no, no. I don't think there is. So. That's nice. If we needed more arrows, we can buy them for Beetle as well, but I really don't think we need to, so see ya. Oh wait, bugs is scary. That's natural. They might not know about bugs and the unknown is scary, but if you pay attention and get to know them, you'll see how amazing they are. Wow. It's against Beetle's life philosophy to hate things until you've given them a chance. All right, I think we've read about that before, but uh, there's definitely some people to meet up with in here. What about here? Work in progress. Hello. Ah. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? What's the news? Great fairy flees into flower bud. Yikes, that doesn't sound good at all. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden herself away in her flower bud. Nearby Woodland Stable is in a panic. Oh. Hmm. I heard a rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing to visiting travelers. I was going to head to Elden, the region in the northeastern Hyrule, and see if it was true, but oh. I always read every word of these newspapers. Any other stories? Hmm. hmm, this is new. The Lucky Clover Gazette is here for you. The Lucky Clover Gazette has opened its offices at Rito Stable. Any eager new journalists are encouraged to apply. A stable has turned into a newspaper then? That's definitely a change. I suppose if I'm ever near Rito Village, I could pop over there and see what it's all about. Uh, I always read every word of these newspapers, okay. Mm -hmm. Strange to think that I can just sit right here and get an eye on the affairs of the whole world. <laughs> Those magnificent geniuses at the Lucky Clover Gazette they cram a world of information onto such thin paper. Very cool indeed. So yeah, we haven't run into any of the fairy things we have in the previous game though. So hopefully we can stumble across a couple of them eventually. Hmm? Hmm? Is something bothering you, young man? Oh-ho, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster too? Reports say that this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Hmm. Whoa. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? <sighs> if I were younger, I'd hike to all the stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumors. Well, I definitely will get onto it. And what about this poster? Can I read this one? I guess not. It just sort of tells you what to do though. Gives you like an elixir recipe sort of. Oh, hi. Ah, hello. Well, um, my mom and dad are always busy, so my siblings and I try to help out. If you wanna learn about stuff at the stable, try asking my brother and sister outside. Hello. Hi. Ah, good evening. Uh, no, good day, yeah, that's what I meant. W well, oh. welcome to our stable. <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. You're our first new customer in a while. <laughs> You're a traveler, aren't you, mister? This stable is so far to the west that we don't get many new customers. Oh. Even less now. 
there's this really bad new, this is bad snowstorm in the Heber region next to us, so nobody's showing up. So, did you come talk to me because you wanted to talk about the stable? Yeah. As I suspected, you just had this look about you that said, I hope someone tells me all about this amazing place. Well, allow me to give you the explanation of the Tabantha Bridge Stable. Okay, so if you want to rest here, go to the counterside in the stable. Normally, my mom would tell you all about the area around us, but she is under the tree talking to a Rito lady right now, so I'll tell you instead. Hi. If you head west from here, there's Rito Village. And if you head east, there's New Serene or Serene Stable, which we've already been to. And if you want to ta know about the stable's facilities, just ask my big brother, Kenya. He's running laps right now. Oh, and also, I'd be happy if you talked to my little brother. Show, too, I just did. I love getting to work with my family. That's so cute. So I guess the older brother, Kenyo, is running around right now. Oh, there you are. Hi. There's also a traveler here, too. So let me to go talk to Kenya really quickly. Ah. Yo, um, uh, no, I mean, hello there. Yeah. Welcome to, B to Bantha Bridge Stable. Aww. You know, you were giving off kind of a swordsman vibe. Oh, because you are one. I see. <laughs> Whoa. A real life swordsman. Uh, sorry, I said that too loud. Oh, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I got a little too excited there. Um, my name is Kenyo. I want to be a swordsman someday, so I'm doing all this work to bulk up. Nice to meet you. I'm gonna be so buff someday that I won't even need a towering har a towing harness to carry lumber and stuff. Wait, towing harness? You don't know about towing harnesses? You're gonna love them. I'll tell you all you need to know. So one of the exclusive perks of, a, of st for stable members is a towing harness for their horses, which we do know a little bit about. Huh, wait a minute, you already have a towing harness? Ah. Towing harnesses are great. Once you've got one, you can have your horse tow a wagon or even building materials. If there's something you want to move, you should just, you should put the towing harness on your horse. Go to the counter and ask to change your horse's gear. My dad will get the harness onto your horse for you. If you ever need to build something, you can take anything you want from a building material storage area. You'll find them along the road, but just about every stable has one too. Very cool. Our horse is still way up there. I don't know if they'll come down to us if we do this, or if they're too far. Oh, they are moving towards us. I can see the marker on the map moving over. That is so cool. So hopefully they find our way over to us, but in the meantime, I do want to search behind the stable because sometimes you can find some cool stuff back there, like a well last time, and there's a well this time. Awesome, so, oh, this is a different kind of dog, right? It's still a Highland Retriever, just a different coloring. Good to know, though. Is there anything inside of these? Get some arrows, apples, all the fun stuff. And you can see Sky running over. <laughs> That's so cool. And we got the Tabant Tabantha Bridge Stable Well. I'll glide down here then, or, or, or fall. One of the two. Oh, there's somebody down here. Uh, hi. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to you then. This well. Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Bright caps, present. All right, that's everything all jotted down. Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't have to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course. I thought so. My name's Farron. I, I have a deep love for wells, too. <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. Wow. My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Oh. Sadly, I haven't been to been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me of any well locations you know of? Oh. I'll reward you, of course. Hmm. How does 10 rupees per location sound? You've got a deal. Oh. Really? That's fantastic. All right, then, tell me everything. So this is all the ones we know so far. I think we found a good, like, five or six of them. Thanks, so five of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees per location. That's 50 rupees in total, all yours. Awesome, <laughs> thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all these wells. Let's see, how many left across Hyrule? Oh, there's still a total of 53 to find. Oh. You can find wells all over the place, in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. <laughs> Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Oh, I'm going to, to look out landing next. There's a well there I wanna see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Will do. All right, so I guess we can get rewarded for all the wells we find. Where are the wells? Side quest. Farrah wants to visit all the wells in Hyrule and asked you to tell her the locations of any wells that you know. She said she is going to see see the lookout landing well. 
there are a total of 58 wells in Hyrule. So far, you've told her the locations of five of them. Awesome. So we'll continue to look for more as time goes on. So, got all this stuff. Can just pick it up. And this frog, right? Can I get it? Yeah, I can. <laughs> there we go. So, I always love building up our little collection of side quests here. And is this going to be a Korok seed under this rock? No. Oh, but there is something there. Whoa, there's a lizard under that or something. I guess they maybe just popped down from the ceiling. Can I move this with uh, this? Yep, got it. Oh, that's tar. Gross. How are we gonna get gonna get across? I don't think we can just. I mean, we can. Oh, but it's a little dangerous. Don't worry though, because we do have this is sticky and goopy, and we'll get stuck in it for sure if we just try to walk across normally. Uh, oh, it's still under there. Okay, I thought I was just gonna be in trouble. So I guess we might want to attach it to another one. Just like this, a little bit farther back. Well, uh, it works, sort of. Let's see. I mean, maybe this would be fine. That's enough that I can, uh, ah, gross, get across like that. I just don't want to sink in it. Oh, and there's more over here too. So what's going on in here? There's a fire that we could start, but there's more over here too, okay. This one goes deep. This is an extensive well. I'll push this out a little bit if it lets me. And inside is a chest. Perfect. So let's open this up and see what our prize is inside. We get a purple rupee. Man, that's great. So we're up to over 300 rupees. We definitely need to go back and buy some new gear soon from um the original place we were at with Pura and everything, whatever it's called. Uh, but now we can exit here. And look, there's a little Kurok too. All right, where do you need to go, buddy? Hi, I need to reach my friend. Aw, oh, my friend and I got separated. Where are they? Way over there? My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired, I can't move. All right, well, I could build a whole thing for this, but I feel like at this point, I mean, by the time I finish building it, I could probably get most of the way there, right? Maybe not, maybe not. Um. So I guess we'll build a quick thing for them. And then maybe that's where we want to finish it off for now because it feels like we're doing a lot around here, but we've been adventuring around a lot, you know, so we're making good progress. Uh, we'll do this. We'll try to put together a few, a few things. I might want to put it on top of a rock, just that way we have a little bit of a ledge to uh, actually build it. Oh wait, there's, there's already one right here. Okay, never mind. Uh, so if I were to put you here, Attach, and I call Sky over. Where's Sky at? Sky's over there on the other side of it, I think. Or over here. There you are. Hi, Sky. <laughs> so cute. We'll hop onto you. Hold on, don't go too far, because we want to go and get that thing. Oh, no, no. Turn around, turn around. Whoa. Turn it around, buddy. You got it. You got it. And then move forward just a little bit. And then talk to you. There we go. Oh. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Since this is your first time here, we'll add one point to your pony points. Oh, so we get an extra point every time we reach a stable. That's useful. Now then, once again. Ooh. Welcome, Link. Do you want to register a horse or take one out for a ride? Okay, so customize our horse so that we can have this thing. Mm. Yep, a towing harness. Oh. Understood. This is gonna be useful because then we can just bring the, oh. the croc over. Harness attached. Oh. Mm. It was cool that they had one pre-built. Oh. That's it, goodbye. Oh. I recommend you take precautions against the cold. Hebra has always been a chilly region, but ever since their recent extreme cold snap, they don't even have enough to eat. You may see a Rito visitor here named Badoli. She's come from Rito Village to stock up on food. Yes, we're gonna be helping them out for sure, soon enough, but we're Sky. I always get turned around. So back out here, let's help the Korok. Oh no, a little bit farther. Okay, getting a little concerned because of all the stuff in the way. I understand. I need them to get a little bit closer than this. This should be good enough. Oh, there's a bird over there, I definitely. Oh, every time I notice a bird, they immediately take that as a reason to fly away. I need to grab this and attach it there. Okay, well, 
I was hoping it would help me make it a little bit more simple. There we go. So, we're all good to go. Let's bring you over to your friend. I really don't know if all this was faster than just, uh, just carrying you over there, but this is what we decided on. That's fine enough for me. I know I'm helping you reach your friend, don't you worry. It is definitely a little bit slower than if we were just riding the horse, but it's still pretty cool, right? This is such a fun concept. I really like this. Okay, we're, we're almost there. You can see the smoke sack in the distance. Don't worry, little Korok. And this will get us, of course, yet another seed too, earning up a good collection of them so that when we do run into Hestu again, we'll hopefully be able to get some good inventory upgrades. A little bit farther, and hey, I'll talk to you. If it lets me, there it goes. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Two more Korok seeds. Isn't that great? Bye. And wow. There we go, whoa, it all disappeared. No, okay, it was just that. I guess it just sort of dismounted us. So I don't really need too much from them, but do I have a picture of this one mushroom? Stamella shroom, we don't. Then I'm glad I took the opportunity. Okay, so with that done, I might wanna sort of teleport back over here. I don't know if there was too much more I really wanted to do. I mean, obviously at this point it gets a lot colder. So at the least we can go back to this shrine. I wanna cook up some food that'll be warmer for uh, the next journey out because next episode will definitely be getting closer to Hebra where it's gonna be really chilly. All right, so at the fire now, one thing a lot of you let me know is that if I had a recipe I've already made, I can like select it, select for recipe, and I can just search up the recipes. And it'll also give me like how long it'll warm me up for. So I could do that one, but obviously we'd want a spicy pepper instead. So select recipe, we have four minutes there, six minutes here. You can just sort of get a different idea We'll probably want to make something that's like good, like nice and hearty for restoring our health too. And and also just uh, giving us a lot of time. So something like this was eight minutes. I think we could just do that and then yeah, it'll instantly give us the ingredients for it. We could add just more peppers too. We could just do one that's all five peppers. I don't know how interesting of a dish that would be. It'd just be nothing but spice. But yeah, we could do that and that would give us 12 and a half minutes. That's crazy. Um. But I think it's good to, you know, sort of mix it up a little bit. Just have different options. Like maybe we don't need as much time, but we need a little bit more health. I think it's just six and a half minutes. Uh, then also, I don't know if doing it with meat like this would be any different. But we're gonna find out. Spicy, spicy pepper steak, this is new. Grants low level cold resistance. This meat has been cooked in crushed peppers to accent its natural taste. So we'll do one more. Uh, with the Hyrule Bass, maybe. Maybe just do one bass. Hold on, put that away. Uh, just do one, and do a couple more. Oh, no, don't eat it. Hold. Got it. Okay, we'll cook this one, we'll see if this is new. This spicy pepper seafood. All right, cool, so we did a pretty good job at sort of making progress in today's episode. Next time around, we're gonna make this continued path all the way up the Hebra and into um, Rito Village to see how we can help them out. We, we got a lot more to get through to do all that, but you know, we've been making our way through Tabantha more and more. There's just plenty more to explore. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.